Hey there! Ever wondered where to get those fancy email signatures that you see some people using when they send you an email? They look pretty professional, right? Well, of course, you can make a basic signature using Gmail settings. But if you're a business owner or a professional freelancer with a brand value to maintain, then you should definitely get a good and professional looking email signature. And designil.com has a tool just for that. A fully customizable email signature generating tool that serves your need to the fullest. Alright, so what you need to do is you gotta go to designil.com slash email signature generator just the way it's highlighted up over here. And once you go there, click on enter and you'll be taken to this page, the home page of Design Heels uh, email signature generator. And you can check the different uh, prototypes, the mockups already done, and you can view the pricing as well. These are the, all the different pricing for individual and business class. And then what you need to do first of all is log in or sign up. Okay, so once you have signed in, uh, just click on create your free email signature and it'll take you to the signature creation panel. On the right you can see a mock-up. It's a preview of what your what your uh, signature is gonna look like. So I'll first I'll, I'll start customizing it. I'll go to main as it's selected. I'll uh, type in the first name. Let's go with something like uh, Ben Affleck, huh? For mobile number, I can go with any random number. For the email, I'm just gonna go with Batman at the radar. Yeah, that's about it. Job title, uh, superhero, department, crime, fighting, company name, justice, league, website, www.jla.com office number again i can type in a random number for now office facts if you have one you can put that in address can be uh jla tower washington dc uh 564 something like that If you have a second address line, you can put that in as well. And as you can see, the changes that I, the 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 the, the data that I entered on the left are all reflecting on the right in the mockup. And next up, I can upload a logo or photo an avatar image if I have one. But make sure it got a, it's it's it has to comply with the dimension. It ha it can be lower than. 500 by 500 pixel and it cannot be more than 800 by 800 pixel in the form it has to be either jpeg or png or bmp or gif uh, i'm going to keep, keep click on upload image i'm going to choose on this uh avatar image of batman and it's uploaded so that's how it looked that looks the basic version next up i'm going to go on social this is where i can uh, choose my social media handles uh it already has Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn uh, selected. So you can just uh, type in your so Facebook ID com slash Batman, and and I'm just gonna copy it for the others as well for the for this tutorial, and you can just type in whichever link that whichever link you have for your uh, social medias and if you want any of these you can, you, you probably you're actually getting a whole lot of options like to choose from this you have YouTube Instagram I'm just gonna you know include this these two and as you can see they are reflecting over here and these are all hyperlinks these are all clickable right and once this is done, next I'm gonna go to style. This is where you get to uh, select 
uh, customize basically customize the texts that you entered in the main panel so this is the main layout that you can choose I'm gonna just go with um, let's say image top yeah this looks good next I can choose the text color the primary text go with something like this a bit darker looks good uh, feature color again I can change that I can make it maybe something like this or a bit more bluish right looks good link color can be something a bit more light and darker like that looks good next up font style can uh, comic sans not the most professional but yeah you can go with whichever you like uh, font size small medium large I'm gonna go with medium looks good avatar size again you can change that uh, it it's probably a sensible thing to do it's not make it too large because you know it's a probably it's not that important I'm gonna keep it like that something medium and then coming to avatar the radius uh, you can either make it square like with sharp corners or with rounded corners or circle right I like circle but I'm gonna go with rounded corners for this social icons the same as avatar you can change the size and for the icon shape one is sharp edges like box two is rounded edges and three is circle I'm gonna go with rounded edges with that done next up I'll go to CTA which is call to action um, you can go for like a custom one which is a pro paid version or you can go with normal text button um, CTA link can be anything whichever uh, website you want them to visit CTA text can be whichever action you want them to perform like subscribe or follow whatever it is it'll reflect on the right you can um, choose the color of the text of the background all of that red is good bright red bold and size is you don't want to be make it too large let's uh, keep it small it's already quite obvious because of the, the red colored backdrop once that's done um, yeah I'll move to add-ons where you can uh, write uh, disclaimers like it already has a confidentiality written environmental and if you want to type in your own you can choose on custom disclaimer and you can type in your custom disclaimer I'm gonna go with confidentiality font size would be extra small auto width or you can choose your own width of the confidentiality box you can do that and yep that's done what else do we have for the add-ons you have badges so if your website deals with a product or an app that can be bought or downloaded from a certain site uh, you can link those sites maybe your product is available on Amazon or it's on um, Play Store your app you can include those and as you can see they also reflect on the right side in the mock-up you can uh, choose the shape two is rounded edges rounded corners and uh, three is well pretty circular I'm gonna go with rounded corners and height or basically size let's not make it too big padding is uh, the difference in the uh, gap with the CTA button color black is good yep um, so we have everything done looks good now once that is done and I'm happy with the way the signature looks I'm gonna scroll down to this area where it says save and download signature I'm gonna click on that and it takes me to uh, a new page so it asks for these details I, it's like a mini survey I can enter those details and 
and then it takes you to this page where on the right side if you scroll to the bottom you get this option called copy signature I'm gonna click on that and it asks you to leave a sig uh, testimonial so you, I'm gonna give it a four star rating and leave a short review very handy tool once that's done I can submit it and yeah the signature is copied next up I can go to my gmail account and uh, create a new email and I'm just gonna click on the body and type control V shortcut for paste and there we go uh, the signature is pasted in the body I'm gonna send this email to an email ID just to show you guys how it looks in an actual email and go to my send box and show you how it looks and yeah this is how it looks you can uh, cop you can uh, paste copy this and paste it to as many emails as you want all of these uh, links are clickable and yeah that's it that's how you create a free email signature using design hills uh, email signature generator if you found the video useful don't forget to like share subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications of my future uploads so that's it for now see you on the next one Peace.